Hello and welcome students, file services, resource manager and organizational units on the practice labs. And here in this video, we're going to cover another project. And in this project, we are going to show you how to deploy the file services resource manager and how to create organizational units, the one we earlier talked about in the video. So what this file services resource manager does, it provides storage capacity storage space also with with the provision of a space and the capacity it also provides you some tools like the file screening to just simply watchful on all on all the nature of file on the type of files the user are copying in that specific folder so what's going to happen let's say if you add the file screening and blocking video audio video files to that specific folder so what's going to happen that when when every time the user tries to copy any audio file and video file there will be a, a event a kind of notification generated in your m viewer you can simply check out that notification which later i'm going to show you in that video so this this is file screening will stop user for violation and in that case you could be relaxed you can provide larger space to your clients to your user and you knew that i have the file service resource manager and the file screening so the these tool won't let them to just violate this page and copy unnecessary audio video files so here in this project in this practical hands-on video you're going to see and experience how you can achieve that so let's move to the practice lab but before that we're going to give you a little review of the doc the the, the same doc which we are following right now and you later on will follow to perform this step so here you can see the file services resource manager in the organizational unit doc and this is the index here and there's a scenario and the machines you're going to need in this project and these are the screenshots and the steps that are mentioned for your help so in case you missed anything you can go back to the doc and follow each step and if you miss something there's a, a, a good roadmap for you to easily follow to reach the destination so let's move to the practice lab platform so as you know we are using this practice lab server 2019 sandbox and the machines we are going to need in this project video are what the plab dc01 and the plab in 10 and you're going to need the same during the execution of the document so here we are already on the domain controller machine and you know first things first let's launch what the server manager that allows and you know that provide us the way to install all the managing tools so here in this video we are going to do the same and here as you can see the server manager is initializing its dashboard and once it initialized so let's click to add roles and feature and we already used that feature before when we were promoting a server to the main controller and this time again we're going to need this add roles and feature thing because it helps and it allows to install another managing role to the server operating system so here on big before you begin let's click to next and proceed in this visit and yes we're going to install the role base or feature based installation so let's click next and here it's going to show you the destination server so yes this is the right server because if you have multiple servers within your domain controller and if all those servers are the member servers so it will show you all the member servers here so it's up to you if you want to deploy that specific role on the member server you can simply make your choice from the list but instead if you want to install on the same domain controller so here you go you have the IP address you can match and verify and then proceed after confirming the destination of this role and here you have this file and storage services 2 out of 12 or install so let's explore it and select file and SCSI services which is it says already installed so let's expand it and see other services that we are missing right now and this is what the file server resource manager so we need to add that resource manager 
so if you read the name so you will easily guess that what it does that this is the resource manager so when you have if you already have the file server agent but if you don't have the manager so you you're unable to manage the agents and the files and the servers you know so we are going to add the console role into this directory so once you make your choice once you select that box click next to proceed and here it will automatically install all the related services and feature that it required now let's click to next and proceed then it will show you a little summary of what you are going to deploy within your server within your domain controller so let's click to install and it will take a while to completely install this resource manager tool so we're going to wait for this installation now when the installation completed let's click to close and it will redirect you to the server manager dashboard now when you see this 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 notification here that says the installation is completed so let's click to the tools and here you will find what the file server resource manager the one we just install now here we're going to expand the file screening management and if you click to the file screens so you won't find anything here in the middle pane because there's nothing set up yet so let's right click and select the option create file screen and when you click it it will show you another dialog box so there we are going to create the file screen now here we're going to define the folder and let's click to the browse and go to that directory that we are going to define here so let's expand C and here you can see we have no folder so you can create any folder. now let's click to make the new folder and we are going to provide the name share and we are going to create another folder within this folder so let's click to make a new folder within that folder so this is going to be group A and we can define another folders for other stuff too now here as we mentioned the group A here and click OK so this destination is here and now you can see drive properties from this file screen template these are the templates and restrictions that you can add and it's it's up to you it's custom right now we are blocking audio video files because we are providing this folder for the user to save their documents their their important stuff their corporate related stuff like sheet the excel sheets the jpegs so we are blocking audio video saving audio video files to cap in that folder why because in this in this case in this way they can easily utilize the bigger space the larger space of this folder and that's how this file server resource manager providing us what the access to just simply manage the resource and we are adding restriction to keeping the resource as fine and as what the system required it's what the the whole protocol required so here we select this block audio and video files so it is selected and the source template is this now let's click to create now what's going to happen that it the file screen is created and the folder is there but if any user try to violate this file screening and try to copy and try to add any audio video within this folder so we'll have what the event and we can easily see the event is created and there will be a notification into the event viewer so you can easily access and screen the whole event that which user is did this sort of violation within the active directory environment so now now let's do a quick test to verify this violation so let's say open the Internet Explorer because we have to copy or we have to arrange some music or video file and then 
we need to copy that file and paste in that directory and the event will be created so for that we need some audio file and as you know this is the testing environment and this is the P windows 10 operating system so we hardly find any audio file or the video file so for that we have this internet in the practice labs environment we have this intranet environment where this this local web page where we can easily get files so what we have to do is just simply let me show you from the start once you open your explorer it will automatically redirect you here on this intranet web page then you're going to click to the tools and here once you reach to the tools then there you go you have this audio test link then you will click on the audio test link but it just opened another link here so let's if you want to go back so click to the previous directory and select the desired one the audio test and here we we're going to download this mp3 file within this server machine and then we're going to copy that file to the directory to verify things so let's click to that file to download and there you go it is ready to save in our machine and it is done successfully so let's open the folder and this is all what this is all the testing and verification of this whole stuff of this whole project so after the deployment if you didn't test and verify so how could you just measure things that where is the mistake and the things are working on the right way or getting wrong so that's the best way after deployment just do a little quick test and test the settings and see the things that are working in the same way as you directed so let's right click and paste that file here and see how it shows and what's what's going to happen and there you go the destination folder access denied and if you click to try again so it won't allow it won't let to copy that audio file here and now it's time to check what the event viewer so let's right click to the start and just select the third option event viewer and here let's open it now when the event viewer open let's expand the windows log section and most likely if you click to the application it may contain yes there you go this is the log and this is what the srm the service resource manager error and if you double click to explore it we want to further verify the kind of error so it says what that the resource manager email action could not be run because the specified to or from address is invalid and here you can see running email action handling audit event and this even tells what that there is a kind of violation happen and the unauthorized file matching audio video files file group detected that's why this is blocked so this is the way you can verify things you can just create your file screening and then you can paste the same file and find out the logs from the event viewer so this is the one part of this project where you have seen and witnessed how to create the file service resource manager FSRM and how to validate how to verify its functions and also you can create different custom templates to define your environment to define your restrictions and protocols and after that we're going to show you how to create or use the organizational unit this is a short topic that we are going to cover in the same video now we are back on the server manager and this time we're going to explore how to create OUs and how to create and what is the container because there are two things the OU the organizational unit and container so the container contains what the built-in you can see here is a container that contain all the built-in machines and details and this is the container computers that contain all the machines and these are all the containers where you don't find this this icon here but what are the OUs? OUs are a different type of container that allows you to apply the policy so when you 
do a little change in your default domain policy so, and if the OU is part of that specific policy of that specific domain what's gonna happen that this policy is applied all over to that OU so you can create a, a, a separate OU for separate sort of user on which you you want to apply different policies different restrictions so in short OU helps you to select a bunch of user a bunch of machine and you can simply apply policies through the OU and that separates some user from the others and give you a more organized data and, and more organized output of your environment so there are two ways to create OU one is you can hold your mouse on this icon and you can click to create the OU and let me name it test dash OU and then if you make the check here protect container for accidental deletion so it won't delete simply by right click to delete this let's say if you want to delete this and you left a check on this accidental delete so it won't delete unless you need to go to the advanced active directory using the computer console to delete this one so this is the OU and if you brought some user in that specific OU what's gonna happen that the, the policy is only applied to those ones and there is another way where you can easily create the OU you can right click on the practice labs and select the OU and in this way you can create OU again so this is the way you can separate out some users and you can change the group policy settings so let me show you a little how you can access the group policy management if you open the group policy and expand the practice labs and the domain and you have the practice labs so here when any new OU you create you will find that specific OU here so we expand this domain controller it contains the test OU so what's gonna happen that all the domains all the machines that you brought in the test OU and if you create another policy for it you can simply change it because the default domain policy is under the practice lab so if you change in that specific policy all the changes will apply on all the OUs but if you create another OU and create another policy and apply on that specific OU what's gonna happen that the policy will apply to that specific OU so that's these are the benefit of the OU and why we are, we are having these OU's in our Active Directory environment so that's all for this project and we covered two different things one is the file server resource manager where we provide space capacity a folder to the user to the clients and we restrict some specific files and we just add some file screening to just be a watchful on the files and all the stuff all the content the user you know the clients are copying that specific folder so in that case if you provide like 10 gigs to each client and you already added the file screening so it's okay and you you should be more confident and you should be more relaxed because you add the file screening so user will not able to use that space in their personal stuff or they can even store some other files that can that that, that takes a lot of space and a lot of you know the memory of your drive so it's it's a kind of satisfying tool that is provided in the active directory environment where you can easily be, be watchful on the activities on the on the files and on the downloadings of your user and also you can provide a bigger space a larger space in, a, in an open environment to your users to your to your employees to your clients to simply just do the production work and just take the company to the highest point so that's all for this video.